welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make this YouTube banner in GIMP. If you do get stuck during the video, then don't worry because you can head on over to my forum and download the project file and you will have this straight on your screen with all the layers. Also, I have put links on my forum as well to all the images I have used in this video. And that's it. It's time to get started. Once you're on my forum, you now need to click on the first link and you will end up on a page that looks like this. We now need to scroll down and you now need to just simply click on channel art template and you now need to click on this link here, channel art template again and press save file. That will now download the channel art we need to get started. You will then end up with a folder that says channel art templates. You now need to open up this folder and we now need to open up the channel art template fireworks. We now need to right click and go copy and we now need to open up GIMP and we now need to go file new and the file size we are going to be using is 2560 by 1440 as you can see on this image here. I'm going to go ahead and type that into the box now. Once you have done that you can now go ahead and press OK and we now need to go edit and you now need to go paste and there we go we now have our template. We now need to go down to the bottom right hand corner and just press create a new layer with the image. Right, that's all good. You now need to select the select tool in the top left hand corner and we need to make sure we have rectangle select selected. We now need to create a new layer and go OK. And we're now going to select the area and we're slightly going to go into the text and logo safe area. As you can see, I've gone over a little bit there, which is fantastic. That's fine. And we're going to select our bucket tool and we're going to select black on the color and go OK. And we're just going to fill that area by clicking. And that's great. That's all done. We now need to go Control and C to copy. And we're going to go Control and V. And we're now going to get our move tool. And we're just going to simply move that down to the bottom part. And we're going to make it sure it's perfectly aligned. And there we go. As you can see, that's all aligned nicely. We're now going to go OK and create a new layer on the bottom right hand corner. Done. We now have a black space both sides of our image on the text and logo safe area, which is cool. The next thing we need to do now is simply get some text going. We need to create another new layer and go OK. And we now need to select our text tool. And you now need to select the font you would like to use. But to start off with, you can simply just write your name. I'm just going to call this computer sluggish. I'm going to go with impact. To select this, all you need to do is go to the left hand side and then simply just find impact. Once you have selected your impact font, we can now go ahead and make the size bigger as well. There we go. We want it nice and clear. And I'm going to actually go ahead and select bold. No, actually, let's take bold off. There we go. That looks fantastic. And I'm just now going to actually move that up a little bit. Let's just go with about there for now. That looks good. Right. The next thing we now want to do is go ahead and select our rectangle select tool again. And we're now just going to create another new layer. And we now need to just go ahead and select a area and hold shift. So we get a perfect square. And you now need to release the click. The next thing we're going to do is get our fill tool, our bucket. And we're going to change this to white. And we're just going to fill in the square. We now need to go ahead and select our rectangle tool again and we're just going to click out of the square so we deselect it and we're now just going to go slightly in as you can see I've gone with the two lines on the crosshair as you can see and we're just going to hold down shift and go down to the bottom right hand corner 
and do the same again with the crosshair and we're just going to release and we're now going to go delete and there we go we now have a square with a white line or outline should I say we now need to go to the top left hand corner and we now need to select the transform tool you now need to click on the square and we now need to click on readjust and we're now just going to simply go to the top here and we're just going to rotate our square so it's a diamond and we now need to click on transform we now need to right click on the layer and we now need to go duplicate layer we now need to select our transform tool again and just click on the diamond and we're now going to click on readjust and we're just going to make the diamond slightly smaller and there we go that looks pretty good to me and we now need to right click on the top layer of the diamond one and we're just going to simply go merge down and there we go they are now merged we can now zoom back out and we're just going to grab our move tool and we're just going to move the diamond over and there we go that's now looking good and we just want to select our text layer and drag it above the diamond that's looking good now the next thing we want to do as well is just select our text again and we're going to change the font color to white there we go that looks very nice now cool that is now the text sorted and we've got the lovely diamond in the background the next thing we now want to do is start getting some images on to our banner you now need to click on the other links that are on my forum if you want to use the pictures I use or you can use your own images that's totally up to you I'm going to go ahead and select my first image which is this Call of Duty one you now need to right click and go copy and we just need to go paste there we go that's good and we just want to now select this green icon here to create it onto a new layer and we're now just going to drag it down cool we can now reposition that image and we want to position it about there for now that will do the next thing we want to do now is get these white lines on the right hand side and to do this we now need to go back to the top of our layers and we need to create a new layer and we now need to go to the left hand side and select our paintbrush tool and we now need to click on this button here and you now need to make sure you have this paintbrush selected once you have that selected you want to change the size to 5 and we now need to make sure we have the white selected because we want to draw the paintbrush white I'm just going to move this over slightly there we go let's zoom out ever so slightly you now need to decide where you'd like to go and once you are happy you can click and then you need to hold down shift and hold down control and then you now need to click and then you need to hold down shift and control again and then click again and there we go you can then go ahead and deselect and as you can see I now have my two lines which are perfect if you scroll in and if you have gone over slightly as you can see I have here all we need to do is select our rectangle select tool and just go down to about there and then just delete and then do the same on the bottom ones and go delete and do the same on the other side perfect because basically this black area is what gets displayed on a bigger TV or screen or monitor now we need to go ahead and select our other images I'm going to go onto my folder and the next image is need for speed I need to right click now and go copy and we're just going to go control and V and then click on the green icon to paste it in I'm going to move this to the right hand side here and oh let's just zoom out a little bit and scroll over okay I can't scroll over that's fine and I'm just going to have that about uh, let's go about there for a second and I need to now resize that image which means I need to select my transform tool again and go to the top corner here and just simply drag it up a bit there we go that's perfect and we just now need to press transform 
Right, I'm just going to move that over a little bit more. Cool, there we go. The next thing I now need to do is simply drag that below my other layer so I can see the white lines. I can now choose what I want to cut out. And the easiest way to do this is simply just select the eraser tool and then just make the size bigger. There we go. And we're now just going to simply carefully cut out the image like so. And we can select our rectangle select tool and just select carefully above. There we go. And go delete and then do the same at the bottom. There we go. And I'm now going to select my raise tool again and just basically tidy the image up. I'm just going to change the size slightly. There we go. And we're just going to carefully go along the white line. You can obviously go half in on the white line because you won't see that part of the image. There we go. That's looking very good. Almost there. And there we go. Boom, that's done. Cool, that looks good. And in fact, if we had done the middle image first, this one here, then you wouldn't have actually had to erase that part of the image because we could have hidden it under this image. But anyway, it's always better doing it properly. Right, that looks nice and good. The next thing we want to do is sort out the bigger image. Let's just go ahead and select that layer. Also, it is a good idea to rename your layers. I know I've not bothered. I will actually rename them. F actually, let's just go ahead and rename them quickly. All you need to do is double click on the text on the right hand side here on our layers. And I'll just call this, um, let's just go Warzone. There we go. Warzone um, BCK. So background. And let's just. That's the lines. I'm just going to rename. Oh, I'm just going to rename this layer. Let's call that the white lines. White lines. And this layer here was our need for speed image. Oh, going all over the place here. There we go. Let's just call that need for speed image. Um, nope, not image. Let's just go need for speed BCK again. And then we've got our text there. That's fine. This one. What was that layer? Um, scroll out a little bit. That layer's our diamond. So let's just... Oh, I keep doing that. Let's just rename that and call it diamond. Okay, there we go. I've now renamed all the layers. As you can see, we've got the background, the black bits. I'll put them to the top and merge the layers together. We've got our white lines there. We've got our text. We've got the diamonds. And we've got our new speed background and the war zone background. That's all good now. We now need to select the wall zone background and we now need to select the transform tool again and we just need to click on the background. We're now just going to drag it up. There we go. And we're just going to press transform. We're now just going to move it down slightly so it looks pretty nice. And there we go. Cool. I like that. That looks all right. The next thing we need to do is select our other image. I'm now going to go back onto my folder and the next image is Battlefield. We're going to copy that and we're now just going to go Control and V to post it in. And you now need to just select the green again to create a nice new layer. We're now just going to drag that over slightly and you can now position your image how you'd like it within the white lines. And once you are happy with the position, you can also change the size of the image as well. If you want, you can make it bigger or smaller. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to leave it about there. That looks pretty cool. Once you are happy, we need to do the same again. And that's to cut off all the excess of the image. I'm going to go ahead and select my tools now. We need to select our eraser tool. And it's time to get back to work. We're just going to simply go like that. And go down. And then, like I said last time, let's just do the right uh, right hand side first as well. There we go. Now we can see our need for speed again. That looks good. Like I said before, we now need to change the size again of the eraser tool. 
and we just need to be very careful now actually that's a bit too small let's go about 50 and there we go go all the way down on the white line cool and keep going and keep going and yeah there we go that's all good and go to the right hand side now and we're just going to go down again cool and keep going down you gotta have quite a little bit of patience doing this there we go and a little bit there cool right that's that image done as well now also we can select our rectangle tool and just go down and then make sure there's no excess as well but because i put the back um black background to the top it don't really matter too much about that anyway and that is it that is our youtube banner the last thing we now need to do is simply go up to file and you now need to go export and you now need to export it as a .png that's fine and choose where you'd like to save the image to and then upload it to your youtube I hope this video was easy enough to follow and if you didn't quite manage to follow the video then you can download the template from my forum for free. And I have seen some of your messages asking me if I can do more YouTube banner video tutorials and I definitely will. Don't forget to like this video if it did help and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.